back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. My name is Aaron Rogers, and I'm gonna be walking through something really quick with you on how to add a math slash science keyboard to your iPad. The reason you wanna do this is I've, I bet you've noticed as you use your iPad, if you're a math teacher or a science teacher, the regular keyboard is missing a whole lot of the symbols that you need when you're working in math. So I'm gonna show you how to add that as a keyboard. The first thing you wanna do is either go into self-service or go to the app store depending on if you're using a student iPad or a teacher iPad and you're going to download an app called SciKey, S-C-I-K-E-Y. Okay, so once I've got the SciKey app downloaded, you're going to want to go into your settings. Okay, in your settings, you're going to go to general and you're going to go down to keyboard. When I'm in keyboard, I'm going to go up at the very top keyboards. Now, my side key is already showing up. Yours is probably at the bottom. You want to make sure to click that and add it. Okay. And then when you go into that keyboard, make sure that you've turned allow full access on. That's going to allow that keyboard to have access to my iPad, no matter which app I'm using. Now that I have that app downloaded, keyboard turned on in my settings, we could go to something like pages. All right, so we're going to go into pages and see what this keyboard looks like. So I'm just going to open up a blank document. Here's my regular keyboard. If you press on the bottom left corner the world icon, right here, there's my emojis. I don't need that. I'm going to press ABC. That's going to bring up my next keyboard. And there is my science keyboard. So as you can see, I have my numbers, but I also have some of those symbols that I might be using in some of those higher level keyboards. The main one that I use is this divide symbol. That symbol does not exist on the iPad keyboard. So this is going to be a lot easier if you're writing some equations on here, you have all of those equation um, icons that you need on the iPad that you're used to having on your MacBook. All right, so I, I hope that was really helpful being able to add that keyboard to your iPad. If you have any questions, email help. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.